it with Ron Harper. Well, I'll tell you what. Actually, Ron Harper played with me. We'll start there, okay? <laughs> I think that's the first thing. He played with me. The only difference between Ron Harper and myself is that he made $75 million. <laughs> Outside of that, we, everything has been the same. So, <laughs> And he's got five NBA championship rings. But, but no, I really enjoy Ron. Ron's been a good friend. We've been actually best friends since we were – Oh, 12 years old. And so uh, we, we talk now still every other day. And uh, uh, he's been actually a great mentor for He's actually my son's uh, godfather. And so he's been a part of our family for a long time. He's, he's almost like a brother to me. Talking to Ron Hunter, head coach of the Georgia State Panthers basketball program. Coach, you're in your fourth year right now. You guys are the preseason favorite to win the Sun Belt. Talk about the success you've had. 17-1 and one last year. You've really turned things around. Yeah, you know, we're excited here. You know, we, we've just finished our third year here at Georgia State, and we, we, we feel like we've got things rolling in the right way. We've got tremendous players, and I've got a great staff w w with me working here. And, uh, you know, expectations here are really high, but that's how we want them. You know, right before we got here, they had had seven straight losing seasons, and so uh, there were no expectations. And now, you you know, the expectations were going to the NCAA tournament and not only going but winning games in the NCAA tournament. So uh, we're excited about the team. We've got we've got some great local talent with, with most, most of our team from with the Atlanta kids here. And so it's just exciting right now. And so uh, we, we've got to live up to that by working really hard. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. I, I've always believed that not just the basketball program, uh, but the football program as well is like a sleeping giant because you're in the city of Atlanta. you got a good product to sell. Uh, ha has it been good for the program to recruit Georgia, Metro Atlanta? Oh, that's been great. You know, one of the things you have to do is that, you know, we, we've been able to get the Kevin Wares to come back home, the Ryan Harrells, the Manny Atkins, all those guys that were tremendous high school basketball players. They went other places, but they came they came back home, and now they're having success here in our program. And now all of a sudden, now the, the, the really good high school players, you know, we're giving them an option. You don't have to go other places. You can stay right here right. At, uh, in Atlanta and play and, and look, look at the success those guys are having. And so so we've been able to build on that, And uh, but, but also we've been able to do it nationally. We, we've got some really good players. We had – First team All State Ohio kids for you know from Ohio. Of course, R.J. my son uh, came from Indiana. We just got a great Indiana transfer and in, in Jeremy Hollowell. So we're getting them from all around. You know, Atlanta's a destination place. You know, a lot of kids want to come to Atlanta, and we're right downtown. And so, uh, so we're excited. You know, we, we we've told people kind of what you said. You know, I think people are woken this giant up, and what we don't want, we don't want the giant to go back to sleep. We want to keep it awake. Talking to uh, Ron Hunter, head coach of the Georgia State Panthers basketball program. You just mentioned your son. Not only uh, is your team preseason favorite to win the Sun Belt, but your son's preseason play of the year. How's that dynamic coaching your son in college basketball? Doug, let me tell you something. I don't understand. He's not even the best player in his household. I'm the best player in the household, and he gets all this hype about being so great. He can't even be the father. So, uh, but no, it's a lot of fun. He 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 deserves everything he get. He works extremely hard, and uh, uh, you know he's he, he's a good kid. And so so we're excited. We've got a lot of good players. He just happens to be the you know right now doing a lot of great things for us. He's had a tremendous summer with the things he's done, and and he works at it. So so I'm extremely proud of him. Was he one of those kids that uh, just? you know, was naturally drawn to basketball because of you and the culture that he grew up in? Yeah, you know, it's not, you know, it's weird because he, you know, it wasn't a father son relationship where I browbeat him in the rock. Hey, you're going to go shoot 10,000 shots every day outside. Mm -hmm. We spent most of our time watching games together as father and son, and we would talk about the nuances of the game. And then when he played, we always had a rule. After every game, from when he was in the second grade on, I would ask him one question Do you want me to be dad or you want me to be coach? And he would honestly say, Which one? Now, when he came to play for me, he didn't have that option. He got coached 100% of the time. Right. And uh, that just happens to be because because he's playing for me now. But, but again, w w one of the things I think a lot of parents go wrong is that you, you're trying to live vicariously through your child, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you take the love of the game away from him. And that's something that I wasn't going to do from day one, and, and it just naturally loved it. Now, we talked about it mentally a lot uh, because he brought it up and he wanted to talk about it. But uh, I think that has helped him in his development of his game. Coach, everybody remembers uh, Kevin Ware from Louisville and the gruesome uh, way that he broke his leg in the tournament. Um, he's coming home to Georgia State. Uh, how did that all happen? How did that get down when you get such a great player who's got a big name out there to come back and play for the Panthers? Well, I think it's coming back home. I think he saw the success that Ryan Harrell had coming from Kentucky, coming back home, and had a great year for us last year. And I thought, you know, he 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 saw that success. He needed to come back home with all the things that had gone on at at, at Louisville in regards with the. He had became a celebrity about a young man who had broke his leg. What I wanted him to do is I wanted him to come back and be Kevin Ware, a basketball player. We don't even talk about. It. We don't talk about the injury. Uh, we haven't had one discussion about that injury since he's walked on campus. Because one of the things that we wanted to make sure is that he's Kevin Ware, a basketball player. Now it was a very 
unfortunate incident. But what happened is he, he became a celebrity and became uh, a prisoner to his own injury. Right. And so one of the things he had to get away from is – if he had stayed at Louisville, there's no way he could have got away from that. So coming back home, being with his family, where he was such a great high school player, and now coming back and being and, and being a basketball player, his teammates don't talk to him about it. We don't talk to him about it. He had his first game uh, th- in Monday, which he hadn't had almost in two years, and not one time did we talk about, hey, listen, you haven't played since your injury. That's just something again we don't want to wa- talk about. Uh, we talk about what his future is going to lie, and, and being Kevin Ware, a basketball player now. Finishing up with Ron Hunter, head coach of the Georgia State. University Panthers on the Doug Stewart Show. Coach, uh, a lot expected of you guys. Uh, A lot of people may not know about Georgia State basketball and the style of basketball you guys have played since you've been there. Talk about that style of basketball play that you uh, that you imply with your team. Well, they may not know about it now, but they're going to find out about it at some point. Uh, we, we've got a very good basketball program. We love the style we play. We get up and down the floor. We change defenses. You know, all the same things that, you know, all the kids say they want to play. But one of the things I love about our guys is that they play one way and they play hard for 40 minutes. So, you know, we're going to make mistakes. We're not going to do things the right way all the time. I'm not going to coach the right way all the time. But the one thing you're going to get from our guys is a great effort. And I think that people understand that and they like that. And so, uh, you know, we've had a goal for the very first time we talked about. We, we you know, we wanted to be the, you know, we wanted to be the best team in Atlanta. We want to be the best team in our conference, and so we want to continue to work at that. And so that's one of the things that, that we we get excited about. And and you know we always feel like that, that we play and I coach with a chip on our shoulder. And so so we're excited about that. We, we we you know we don't run away from expectations here, but we know that we've got to work extremely hard to maintain those things. Coach, you're very accomplished. Uh, you've been coaching as a head coach since 1994 at IUPUI. Uh, came here in 2011. This is your fourth year, as I mentioned. Um, talk about your expectations. You guys got a kind of a target on your back coming into the season. Like I said, 17 and one last year, preseason pick to win it all. You got three first team preseason, uh, players on your team and Kevin Ware and Ryan Harrell and your son. Uh, talk about the pressure you got on your back coach. Dang, Doug, you didn't have to mention it like that, man. We, <laughs> I was feeling pretty good about this interview. You start <laughs> I'll throw it in I your face. I'll throw my contract and make sure I'm okay. Like that. <laughs> no, it's, it's great, man. You know, we – there, there's, you know, no one could put more pressure on me than I put on myself. And sometimes I think I put too much pressure on myself. So I don't worry about expect, you know, outside expectations. That's that's part of the job. That's part of it. And you know, at the end of the day, if if, if my guys are getting better mentally, physically, and spiritually, I've done my job. And so uh, that's what I worry about. I worry about the young men in my program. The the wins will take care of themselves. Um, I didn't bring these guys in here to say, hey, let's make Georgia State better. Let's win games better. Uh, my thing is, I've, I've got to make sure that I'm I'm developing men for the city of Atlanta. So when these guys leave here. They're productive citizens in this city. And so that's more important to me than all the other things. If I can do that, the wins will take care of themselves because these kids are talented enough. My job is to make sure that I've, I've developed men. When they graduate from here, that these are, these are men that people respect in this city. Yeah, fantastic record, 62-37 uh, and 37 record since you've been there at uh, Georgia State. Coach, good luck to you this season, and uh, we'll talk to you down the road. Make sure you call me back, Doug. Love talking to you. Will do. There he is, head coach of the Georgia State Panthers, Coach Ron Hunter on the Doug Stewart Show. And, yes, you can hear why. (laughs) You can hear why this guy is so successful um, in coaching basketball because he's upbeat. He's the guy that will come in there and recruit the hell out of a kid, probably you can tell, and just sounds very positive. And that program, man, I really believe it. And I used to say it all the time, even before Coach Hunter got there, I used to say it before, you know, even before Georgia State started his program, sleeping giant because they got resources. Did you know that Georgia State's the biggest school in the state of Georgia? Like Georgia State has like 30,000 students. Now, it's in the city and a lot of those students commute, but that's a lot of resources, man. Georgia State got plenty of money if they ever wanted to play quote-unquote big boy basketball or football. I could really see, easily see, them do something like Central Florida has done or South Florida has done over the last couple of years and move up to the number one level of basketball or football. Georgia State's struggling right now in football. <laughs> I think they've won one game. They won their first game this year. But the basketball program, man, is doing real big things. And, and you can probably tell why after hearing Coach Ron Hunter talk. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Good stuff. Thank you for joining your boy. The number is 404-382-0338. Go out and support Georgia State basketball. I usually catch uh, one or two games a year. Uh, I'm going to make it a point to go to more games this year. 
because it is a, a big season for them, and a, there's a lot expected of them. Uh, I mean, this they win the Sun Belt. I mean, they're going to be a team that's going to get a spot in the NCAAs and really, really be able to shock some people. They got big time players, as he talked about Ryan Harrell, the transfer, uh, Kevin Ware. If he's back healthy, his son is just like uh, a marksman. You know, preseason play of the year in the conference. So a lot of positive stuff going on with Georgia State basketball. You are listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Thank you so much for joining your folk. I really do appreciate it. Yes! Yes! I love talking to those guys, man. Yes, I love talking to positive guys in sports. A lot of times it's all negative and, you know, it's, you know, bad stuff and that's all they talk about. Man, how about that guy? How about that guy, Coach Hunter? <laughs> you know, I can see that guy being on the circuit Motivational speaker. Sounds like he's got a future. All right? All right, when we get back from the break, this is the Doug Stewart Show. We're going to wrap today's show up, grab some calls if we have any, read your text, your chat, and all of that stuff, as well as uh, throw out a couple more little sports stories out there. And, uh, yeah, the Dougie Daly question is, who's the small team that you root for? Yeah, kind of got into that conversation because we talked to Georgia State. And, and Coach Hunter today. So, uh, who's a little small team outside of the big boys and big five uh, power conferences in football that you follow and that you keep track of? All right? Don't go anywhere. It's the Doug Stewart Show. The Doug Stewart Show is off and running. But just like every company, we need sponsors. Would yours like to work with one of the livest, most dynamic, and recognized sports talk show personalities in America? By the way, that's me. Getting in on the ground floor? Well, call us at 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at thedougstewartshow.com and let's do business. From the smallest company in Atlanta to the biggest brands nationally and worldwide, Shouty. People know me and the Stews brand in these streets. I'll let you vote. Once again, the number is 770-847-0536 or email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Yes! This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, Gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and a fully encompassed prepaid legal benefit that includes identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over 850 bucks a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. I'm always saying get with the times. Stop acting like you at your mama house. Calling that girl you met at summer camp two states away and your mama screaming out, I know you better not be talking long distance running up my bill with that little hussy girl. Well, get with the times with the long distance charges. Presenting Univon. Univon offers unlimited worldwide calling to 60 plus countries for $14.99 a month. No contract, no activation fee, and no cancellation fee. Users can call anytime using their mobile phone or home IP phone. So stop flushing money down the drain. Get more details by clicking Univon's link banner on thedougstoreshow.com or the link on the thedougstoreshow.com app. Try out Univon and call your peoples like you not at your mama house. If you're not stewing, what in the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. Yes, 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 yes. Shouts out to Coach Hunter, man. That was good stuff from that ninja. He says, something tells me that cat doesn't have a problem recruiting. Great interview, Doug. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And you're exactly right. (laughs) The best coaches got that type of personality. They got that A personality where, uh, you know, they're, they're jovial and they know how to break the ice. And it's fluid and it's natural. And the best coach has also always got a joke ready. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, coach at South Carolina State, Willie Jeffries. 
legendary coach, legendary coach in HBCU football, legendary coach, period. He was actually the first black coach at a Division I school 